with that all down, let's get things started on this Monday with this. You know, we've talked a lot about, you know, over the last couple of months about the insane success of Deadpool and Wolverine. Can you believe that there were so many people that, you know, seven months ago, whatever we were talking about, and we said, this was this is going to be a billion dollar film. How many people kept telling us that we were insane and that would never hit a billion dollars? Yeah. Yet they told us like other films were going to be a billion and we're like not even close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not even close. I, but I mean, I get it though. Like when Deadpool, like the first two Deadpool films, neither of them got to $800 million. I mean, they both made a crap ton of money. Sure. But people would look at them and say, ah, not quite a million dollars. And then people, the made up comic book movie fatigue, which does not exist, obviously. But, you know, it's not going to do it. And my argument was always, listen. Ryan Reynolds is more popular today than he was when they made those. Hugh Jackman's coming out of retirement. People were wanting to see Deadpool in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And Mm -hmm. and I said, you know, the other movies both made almost $800 million. You don't think all those things together will equal like just an additional $200 million? Right. But at any rate, of course, the movie came out, did extremely well became the highest grossing R-rated film of all time, which again, think about that, the, the long history of Hollywood, and it became the highest grossing, by a lot, <clears throat> grossing R-rated film of all time. Well, now, three over three months in theaters, it's still in the top 15 at the box office. Right now, it is still in the top 15 at the box I office. It, it, which is insane. It's like, who... Who's going to see this in the theaters right now? It's it's already like, you know, you can you can purchase it at home. It's crazy. I'm, I'm going to let you in know a secret. Ann just bought more tickets for us to go. <laughs> she literally just bought, I want to, she's like, I want to see it in theater. One more time, right? One more time. Yeah. Always one more time. So still in the top 15, but here's the big thing. It just crossed Barbie. It just passed Barbie, says the Hollywood Reporter to become the 12th, now think about this is an R-rated film, to become the 12th highest domestic film, like in the U.S. market, U.S.-Canada market, of all time. It it didn't cross Barbie worldwide, but it it entered the top 20 all-time worldwide, but got the top 12 ever passing Barbie. We take a look at this chart. This is the all-time box office chart for the domestic box office. Still up there at number one is Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. At number two, Avengers Endgame. I mean, look at, first, this is a very Disney-heavy list. Oh, yeah. Star Wars Episode Seven: Avengers Endgame, Spider-Man No Way Home, Avatar. Uh, then you got Top Gun Maverick in there, which did so well in the North American box office. Black Panther, Avatar The Way of Water, Avengers Infinity War, Titanic, Jurassic World inside. There's only two films on this list that aren't Disney films currently Jurassic World and Top Gun Maverick. Anyway, then at 11 inside out Two, which Which, is another of the years, huge, huge success Two in this year, which is crazy. Number one box office film of the year is inside out Two, but in there now at number 12 passing Barbie, which made over $1.5 billion. Yeah. Deadpool and Wolverine comes into the top 12, now making $636 million at the North American box office alone. It's crossed it's well over $3.3 billion worldwide and is still in the top 15. That's, I think it's in its 13th or 14th week. Yeah, it's crazy. And it's still it reminds me in of the Home top 13. This, this, is, this goes back, but it reminds me of Home Alone. And the track that Home Alone had, it was just for weeks. It was just, people were just still going. It was crazy. I might, we might've said this before, but here's a little trivia for you. You might, you might know this. I might've brought it up already. Uh, What movie holds the all time record for most weeks in the top 10 at the box office without ever holding the number one spot? You did tell us this, but I can't remember the answer. It, it, it It's one that's going to surprise you. Yeah. So it just kind of hung in there, right? Yep. And like it was, it was like at number two and number three, and then back up to number two, then down to number four. Then yeah. it's just a movie that hung in there and hung in there and hung in there. A lot like Despicable Me 4 this year. Joseph SFL. 
in the live chat. Oh, that makes so much just sense. Just got it. My big fat Greek wedding. My big fat Greek wedding. Yeah. That was that's a but the sequel sucked. But that was a magnificent but film. You, with that, that yeah, with that film you had people going back three, four times, sometimes five. Yeah, that's and why. people caught on word of mouth later and later and later. There mm -hmm. were people still going to see it in week seven, week mm -hmm. eight, week nine, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, Deadpool and Wolverine pulls that off too. And you know, it's funny because Ann and I were just talking, we were just at a, a Halloween party the other night and we talked, we were with a couple of other, uh, a few other couples and talking about it. And like one of the couples has still never seen Deadpool and Wolverine. They really want to. Oh, wow. And one of the other couples was like, man, we got to watch it again. So we just planned like a big Deadpool and Wolverine watch party at our place. But it's just, it, it makes us ask again, what is the magic sauce guys we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's episode miracle made guys it's hot outside and your nighttime bedroom temperature has a huge impact on your sleep quality so if you wake up too hot or too cold i highly recommend you check out miracle made's bed sheets miracle made sheets are inspired by nasa and use silver infused fabrics that are temperature regulating so you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long there are just so many things that make these sheets so fantastic we already mentioned the self-cooling properties for better quality sleep but they're also self-cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. So go to trymiracle.com slash campia. That's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E dot com slash campia to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code campia checkout you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20 percent miracle is so confident in their product it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee so if you aren't 100 percent satisfied you'll get a full refund so upgrade your sleep with miracle made go to trymiracle.com campia and use the code campia to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40 percent off again that's trymiracle.com campia to treat yourself thank you miracle made for sponsoring this episode because look there have been better films than deadpool and wolverine like i think deadpool and wolverine is fantastic but there have been better films yeah what is it about this film like whenever it climbs to some new incredible milestone like crossing barbie entering the top dozen of the all-time domestic box office entering the top 20 of the all-time global being an r-rated film what is it and i still just go back to the same things insane humor because, you know, I was five or six times into watching this movie. Right. Before I finally got to the point of, okay, I'm not picking up new things anymore. Sure. Like my second time, I picked up at least seven or eight jokes that I never caught the first time because they're so quick. Yeah. And like the audience laughs so hard at one joke that you miss the second joke. Then the third time I picked up new things, the fourth time I picked up new things. It wasn't until like the fifth or sixth time that I was like, okay. I've actually seen the movie now right. and I, and I've picked up on almost everything. So there's this incredible humor. I think there's like legitimate emotion to it. The characters are so likable. And I mean, that's why I think Disney is going to move heaven and earth to make sure that Ryan Reynolds who look to even make Deadpool three, I'm sure they had, they made Ryan Reynolds agree to appear at least in a few other films. Cause they didn't want to put all that investment mm -hmm. into something that was going to be a one and done movie. Yeah. I still don't think Hugh Jackman's returning. I still think Hugh Jackman's I done. I feel like he's done. I really wonder if Disney gave Ryan Reynolds some uh, production space, like a production office space on the Disney lot. Oh, I, I'm sure he got a lot. I'm sure he got almost whatever he asked for. Mm -hmm. I, I just, every time I hear Hugh Jackman, though, talk about how miserable his life is whenever he's trying to be in Wolverine shape, and the older you get, the harder that gets. I don't know how he maintains that. It, well, he doesn't maintain it. That's no, the I thing. mean, like, yeah. But how like he when it gets, it. when he's got a new Wolverine movie coming out, <laughs> he goes into like a six or seven month psycho thing that he just, he hates. It's it's he actually, hates it. as fit as you are, that actually can be hard on your body. It can be hard on your heart, especially as you're getting older. Yeah. So there's now, concerns there too. He is single now. So maybe, uh, he, maybe he's got more incentive <laughs> to look that way anyway. <laughs> Absolutely, he could be half as bad and still not worry about it. Well, that's that's true. Yeah, I mean, he could he could he could cut his looks in half and still and still yeah. like will look like schlub standing next to him, of course. So I mean, but whatever, guys. Question is for you: What do you think about this? 
Three months in, this movie's still in the top 15. It continues to climb the chart, now in the top 20 all-time globally, passes Barbie to get in the top 12 domestically. What do you see as the keys to the longevity of this film? Why do people keep going back again and again and again and again? I mean, there's not a lot of people who I would think would say this is their favorite movie of the last five years, but they've gone back to see it more times than they've seen other films in the last five years. What it is, What is it about this film that does that? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.